Hi, my name is Aurimas and I'm going to show you how to use the Google Calendar weekly timetable plugin for WordPress. So first you log into your uh, website, uh, WordPress, uh, go to plugins, add new, There's, uh, search for timetable and this is the plugin so you install it. So it's installed, click activate and then click settings here or here. It's the same. So now it asks you for Google Calendar uh, ICS URL which you can get from Google Calendar or other calendar but I'm using Google Calendar. So first thing you need to do is to create uh, a calendar by clicking here new calendar and then after you create add some events uh, or schedule schedule appointments click settings and sharing and make sure you click this make pub available to public uh, tick box see all events and details okay so after you do that scroll down to the bottom public address in ecall format copy the link sometimes it doesn't work the first time so you might need to go back and check that this checkbox is still checked if everything okay then you go back to the plugin and paste the URL. Okay, so now we have a. Uh, uh, in green it says your calendar name and description, uh, and 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 you you see all these options. Uh, for now they're disabled, but don't worry about it. So you click save. Don't forget to click save. That's uh, important. And then you go to. To the page or post that you want the timetable to appear in yeah I've already added here but you just write in square brackets timetable and click update you visit the site and you see the timetable so this is the basic version you have one color uh, the week starts on Monday and times are in U European times if you want more options, uh, go to googletimetable.com and click buy. After you buy the, after you make the payment, you will get the version two of the plugin, and it will be in, in your downloads folder, like like this. It will appear in the, your downloads. So after you do that. Uh, Go back to your website and uh, deactivate and uninstall the, the free version of the plugin. Delete and then click Add New, Upload Plugin. Choose your Downloads folder here. If you're using Chrome, it should be everything should be right there. Click Install and click activate so we have already added the URL for timetable so it should be there already but now you have all these other options so you can select to show in next and previous buttons uh, you can start the week uh, on some other day and you can choose time format text color and some other options one important thing is to add the caption so you add some text to the caption for your timetable for now click save and and check that everything is working so now you see that the events don't have any color but that's 
don't worry about it. Uh, we can we can set any color for for the events in 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 the settings. So if everything is working, you should you should see the caption, and you should see the event info when you hover it. And if you click next, you see the next week. It reflects exactly your calendar. So. So make sure you uh, add the events and also make sure that the time zone is correct here. So after this you can go back to the settings and uh, I can explain some settings for you here. Um, so the time format, there's many formats for 12 hours but basically the 2H letters means it's uh, with leading zeros and one H letter is without leading zeros. Uh, the capital A means PM, AM will be in capital letters and and, and non-capital means it will be in lowercase. E, so there's either space or no space between the hours and the PM, AM indicator. So we we'll choose something like this. Um, for text color you want either black, white or grey uh, for table layout it depends on you but if it's fixed then uh, all the columns will be of the same width and if it's flexible then uh, they will stretch out to adapt to the text in your uh, events I want to start with some. You want to start with something uh, small for the font size. Choose language, weekday names. Uh, as you can see, uh, you can choose language, and then then the uh, uh, weekday names is the shortest the shortest, uh, the middle and full size. Sometimes you have a post or page that it's quite narrow then you want to choose uh, shorthand. And for cache duration you want to choose something uh, like five minutes. Okay, so that should be working. Um, but now we want to set the line color so so you click the customize event colors button and you see that I am on the wrong website I wanted to show you this website um, if you click the customize event colors you will see that everything is white here so now you can choose the colors for your for your events. You can either choose from the palette here. Uh, so let's say first I went green, and this uh, tone of the color. So if you choose the same tone for the color, it will look um, generally better because because the the color will appear. Uh, more equal, uh, the colors will appear more equal, less standing out, and um, so I'm just going to choose a lot of colors. So this, <coughs> all of these events are uh, from the the name of the event. So if you have two events that uh, have the same exact name, then uh, then they will they will have uh, the same color. Okay, so you click update. You don't need to click save, but you can click it anyway. And then 
if you visit the site you see the events have colors now and they all are actually different the training is of the same color because it's, it's the same event and you can click next week previous week so one thing about the calendar is that when you create the events if if your timetable is is fixed you probably want to um, click the repeat uh, weekly on the same day so that the events repeat uh, forever in the future uh, or you can of course uh, click uh, if you know when the when your schedule event uh, changes then you can click the specific date that it changes on the thing is no matter what you do it will always reflect the the calendar so next week we will see this week and then the week after that we will see it the week after that so if it's the same and then it's the same if if you make some changes or you have some one off event then uh, that will appear on the, on the calendar so as you can see when it's using cache it's uh, loading faster if i click back then now it's fast <clears throat> then um, if you insist on making just one week and you, you're sure uh, that the events will not change then you can you have some you have some short code options uh, I'm looking at the code now because that's how I know the shortcode options. So you can start the week uh, on specific dates. So for example, start equals 2018 11 11 and the code ends. You click uh, update and now it will start with that date so if if you're sure that you don't you don't want any other weeks to be shown click no here show next previous buttons and you have this simple version uh, of the of the timetable and it will always show the same week uh, what other you have most of the options that are in the settings you have here also and of course if you want to style the timetable you go to customize your team additional CSS and you use the um, GCVT uh, handle for for the timetable so this is the timetable and then uh, say you have a, uh, you wanna change color of the empty cells so it's TD and back background color gray that changes all the cells that are, don't have events and you know I want to do like light gray probably so the the whole and then if you if you want to change something else you just inspect it with the inspect tools this is of course advanced so if if you're not familiar it can be a little bit hard if you're not familiar with CSS then it can it can be really tough but uh, you can uh, get the basics of CSS uh, in the internet so I'm gonna leave uh, with that okay so that 
wraps it up. Uh, hope you hope you enjoyed and um, get the uh, pro version or version two uh, if you need the options that I provide. I was working quite hard to to make it happen.